What I'm holding up here is our fourth generation Graviton processor that will be launching soon uh, globally. This is the brand new Graviton 4 chip from Amazon. It's most powerful and efficient one yet. The company exclusively shares with Yahoo Finance. We will have launched four generations of Graviton, delivering 4x improvement in performance over that time period. Amazon Web Services is currently the industry leader for cloud services, owning nearly a third of the total market, with Microsoft's Azure coming in at 25%. Now, AWS wants to protect and boost its profits in two ways. One, by designing chips that can power its own cloud, and two, by positioning itself to capitalize off AI demand. But AWS is far from the front of the pack, and they're okay with that. AWS says they're not looking to overtake NVIDIA. That could allow them to take a profitable slice of the massive and rapidly expanding AI-driven chip market. This is what's next in the chips race. To understand Amazon's new chip, it's helpful to understand what chips do. Chips are in uh, almost any device that has an on-off switch, whether it's a dishwasher uh, or a car or the most sophisticated AI system. AWS offers two main types of chips, those that power AI and general purpose chips, which is where a chip like Graviton 4 comes in. Some are focused on doing database, some are do, uh, focused on doing web, some are focused on doing AI, and Amazon not only buys chips from the people you would expect like AMD and Intel NVIDIA, but they actually design their own chips in-house. That's Patrick Moorhead, a former AMD executive. Now as a CEO and analyst, he has exclusive access to Amazon's Chips Lab. Among the most important factors for new chips, power and efficiency. We get about 3x the amount of compute and 3x the amount of memory, about 75% more memory bandwidth. And this will deliver about 30% better performance versus Graviton 3. And then for the targeted workloads that now can benefit from the larger memory footprint, we can receive an up to 40% 40, 40 or higher performance improvement. To do something like... In like memory it. analytics or databases, that's where this product will shine a lot more. We need a lot of system memory available for you on the host node. It's not just about performance. It's also about the bane for your buck. AWS customers can use Graviton 4 to cut their bill for IT, and in most cases, with the same performance or higher performance at the same cost. AWS would not disclose details about Graviton 4 pricing, but says processors are rented out at $0.02845 per second of compute power. AWS says in-house testing speeds up chip delivery by eliminating the need to ship chips out for debugging. It's an evolution, getting the first silicon out to actually making it production ready. And it starts right here with looking at the silicon and, and sort of seeing how functional, how performant, how power efficient. That process starts in AWS's debug lab at the automated test equipment station. When we first got our Graviton 4, chip out of the manufacturing line. We install it in this in this machine here. We're looking for manufacturing defects, and that gives us some early insight into the health of the silicon. From here, engineers place each chip on a board. There, it undergoes several tests that assess signal integrity and find any issues. Lastly, the boards are placed in servers where AWS uses them to power things like their own large language models. We we'll basically take fully installed servers and racks and do more higher level testing to make sure that we build them at the similar sort of logical concept that we would deploy them in our data centers. Chips are a staggering part of the global economy because they're needed to run practically everything we use. This was acutely evident in the wake of the pandemic, when global supply chain disruptions caused massive backlogs in chip production and shipments. The chips industry is currently valued at $544 billion, and it's expected to be worth more than a trillion dollars in less than a decade. That's according to Precedence Research. That trillion-dollar estimate driven by one thing, demand. There are two major sources for chips, chip makers and hyperscalers, companies like Apple, Google, Microsoft, and Amazon. They're developing chips to meet their specific needs, to cut back on costs, and offer customers more affordable alternatives. All of these companies are spending a lot of money on developing chips. Uh, they won't talk about how much they're investing, but what they do have is they have these giant R&D budgets. And let's say you can save $200 a chip 
and you're buying a million uh, of them a year, that adds up. And that's a lot of money that you can pour in to do that. Development is expensive. AWS would not disclose its overall chip spend. I'm not convinced yet that it is a net uh, money winner. NVIDIA is currently viewed as the dominant chips player with a market capitalization to prove it. But there's enough demand to go around, according to analysts and executives. All of America's biggest tech firms depend really fundamentally on chips that today are primarily, or in a lot of cases, exclusively manufactured in Taiwan by TSMC. The Biden administration passed the Chips and Science Act in 2022 to bolster domestic chip manufacturing, investing $53 billion into the sector. Simultaneously, AI is driving demand for chips. That's because AI algorithms require complex computations and workloads, which powerful chips can handle. That's where AWS hopes to find their lane. Amazon does uh, the design, they do the testing, they do the validation in-house themselves, as opposed to having an Intel, an AMD, or an NVIDIA do it. And that allows them, AWS, to lower their cost and pass that on to their customers. AWS has to make chips for their infrastructure. AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA have to make chips for everybody's infrastructure, right? With every passing Graviton 4, uh, our goal is to make sure that it's the cheapest option relative to other offerings. But then collectively, it's delivering more price performance, which means for every dollar spent, you get a lot more performance, which is why customers really care more about price performance as a, as a value metric um, that they focus on. The new Graviton 4 chip is not an AI chip, but it's an essential power mechanism behind the AWS chips that do power AI, Inferentia and Tranium. Tranium competes directly with NVIDIA's AI chips. The upcoming Blackwell chip from NVIDIA is expected to cost between $30,000 and $40,000, according to Moorhead. Does AWS stand a chance against NVIDIA? I like to call it coopetition. NVIDIA needs AWS. AWS needs NVIDIA. NVIDIA's chips are the fastest and most powerful in the market, driving the AI behind large language models like ChatGPT. That performance is in part driven by NVIDIA prioritizing AI early. For context on the timing, Amazon launched its cloud computing business in 2006, the same year NVIDIA released CUDA, a programming language that can enable machine learning. NVIDIA Bulls argue that AI was built off of the chip giant's tech, so it's harder to transition to competitors. Companies are willing to wait an entire quarter to get their chip orders in. That timeline is according to UBS. So where does this leave Amazon and its Graviton chip? Is the goal to get NVIDIA's customers to come over to AWS? Not necessarily. There are different types of use cases um, that are better suited for different products. If a customer is more focused on, on, on time to market, um, uh, NVIDIA-based products that we offer, and we offer the latest um, and, and the most diverse offerings and the, the largest scale of, of NVIDIA-based products on, on the AWS cloud. That is a great option. So it's not a zero-sum game. I think we'll eventually find a spot for, for all different customers to, to operate, regardless of what their choice is. For investors, earnings expectations from chip development may impact company profits more than the actual chips in production. Among Amazon, Microsoft, and Alphabet, analyst earnings expectations are highest for Amazon. The profit margins just for AWS hit 38% in Q1 of 2024. AWS has a lot of credibility uh, in, in the semiconductor space. And I mean, 10 years ago, I, I had questions, right? How can a company like this do chips when you have companies investing multiple billions of dollars to do that? But it is very good. That approach could fuel price reductions across the industry. I do think it's a risk mitigator to potentially get better pricing from Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA. AWS hopes the Graviton 4 release, alongside new servers that are four times as strong as current ones, will position them as a formidable chips player in the competitive market. It sounds like a big part of the competitive advantage you have is related to cost. Absolutely. And that's what we can get with Graviton um, and, and, and our training and inference product. We can tune the product, tune the silicon um, to just focus on, on things that really matter for customer workloads. That evolution could not only fuel future gains for AWS, it could potentially lead to more price diversification across an industry that continues to grow.